Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about all the new makeup releases because I did not do one in the month of December and there's a lot of new stuff coming out and we need to talk about it. If you are new here, hello, my name is Anna. I upload five days a week here, Monday through Friday, so be sure to subscribe and ring the bell. Um, give this video a thumbs up, it helps my channel out so much. And let's get into it. All right, all of these photos are courtesy of Trend Mood and Point Click Vibes. And there's so much to talk about. Um, I'm gonna tell you whether or not I'm gonna be getting them. I'm not gonna be covering every new launch, but I am gonna be covering a lot of them. All right, first one I wanna talk about here. This is so cool. Sol de Janeiro is coming out with a new scent. This is the Delicia Drench um, Body Butter and the Perfume. So it's gonna be Shirosa 59. The notes in here are vanilla orchid, sugared violet, and sandalwood. This does seem like something I would really like, but I need to smell it in person first. I don't blind buy perfumes at all. So if you've tried it, let me know. I, I would really like to get this, but I don't know if I'm gonna like it yet. Next, Too Faced is coming out with this Kissing Jelly Ultra Nourishing Non-Sticky Lip Oil Gloss Hybrid. That's a long name. <laughs> These retail for $22 and it's this it's a glossy lip oil formula that hydrates with natural oils and leaves a hint of tint giving you the instant hydration of lip oil with the candy shine of a gloss. That's fun. Some nice shades in here. Um, it has sunflower and jojoba seed oils, vegan and cruelty free. I'm going to pass on it. I don't, I'm not interested at this time. Um, my new love right now is the e.l.f. lip oils. So... I think I'm good with those for now. All right, next, Milan is coming out with a few new things, or has come out with a few new things, and they came out with a color fetish hydrating lip stain. There's a huge, like, description on Trend Mood. Um, they are $13.99 each, which I feel like that's kind of expensive for Milani, at least. I don't know. But it does say it has hyaluronic acid and squalene, and it has a cushiony high comfort formula. That's really cool, especially for lip stain. I'm not a lip stain person. I'm just not. So this is a pass for me, but it's really cool that I think this is going to be a trend in 2024. Next, Makeup Revolution came out with this Beam Bright Highlighter. And I think it's, what, $10 each. Um, you can get it at Ulta. You can get it. If you live in the UK, you can get it at Super Jug and Boots. I bought one. And I'm really excited. I think I got the shade Diamond Glow. I will be doing a video like testing new drugstore makeup once it all comes in the mail. I'm really excited about it. We've had a lot of new fragrances drop this month. How about this little collage right here? So Nest came out with a lychee rose eau de parfum. And this has notes of rose absolute lychee effervescent pink champagne. I smelled this. This smells divine. I would love to get the travel size of that. Then the replica came out with this scent called From the Garden. I don't like this. I, I went to Sephora to smell it and um, it has tomato leaf accord, green mandarin essence and patchouli heart in the note in the keynotes. I don't know. It just smells really weird. Like I don't understand how that would be a perfume, but okay. Also Clean Reserve came out with some new scents. Water Lotus, Brilliant Peony. Musk Noir, Nectarine Petal, Waterfall, and so on. So really awesome. Lots of new fragrances. I think fragrance is going to be really big in 2024. Next Too Faced is hopping on the Better Than Sex train once again and is coming out with their Naturally Better Than Sex mascara. So it's 30 bucks and it has a 98% naturally derived formula. So it's from the bamboo fibers and goy bear blend. I don't know what that is. Yeah, I don't know. I, I'm, not, I'm gonna pass on it. You know, I I don't need another mascara right now. I'm really into long comb mascaras and that kind of stuff, so I'm gonna pass for now. Glow Recipe. If you've been on TikTok lately, you've probably seen this, but this is the Cloudberry Bright Essence Toner. Um, it does retail for $38 and this says that it brightens and evens your complexion while reducing the appearance of hyperpigmentation while hydrating and softening dull, dehydrated skin for visibly enhanced radiance. It does have vitamins C and E and glycerin. Yeah, it, it seems like a really nice serum. I'm gonna pass on it though. Um, I love my Ula Henriksen Dark Spot Toner 
and my uh, Tarte, Tarte <laughs> Tower 28 SOS spray. So I'm going to pass on it. Now we get another thing from Milani. This is their Cheek Kiss Cream Bronzer. So this retails for $12.99. Um, they only came out with four shades, which I don't think that's enough. Like, look at the shade range and tell me if you think that's enough, because I... I don't think that's enough. This is an ultra blendable formula. Um, it has vitamin E and so on. Um, I was going to get this. I realized that like I like liquid and bronzer sticks better. So I am going to pass on this. But there is something coming later that I do want to try. Next, I was so excited to see this. This is from Salt Air. I love their body wash. But they're coming out with lip oils. I'm pumped. So this says it features a cushiony, slippery, cushy balm feel formulated with coconut oil, muru muru, shea butter, and plant, plant derived esters. It's $9 each. They have five shades. I want to try these really bad. Are they just available on their website? I don't know, but I really want to try these out. So if you've tried them out, let me know your thoughts. I, like I said, I love salt air, so this is really exciting. More fragrance. This is not the last fragrance we'll be talking about today, but Marc Jacobs came out with their pop collection. Um, they seem to do like a different kind of like limited edition collection every time in the beginning of the year. So we have Daisy Oh So Fresh Pop, Daisy Love Pop, and Daisy Pop. So Daisy Oh So Fresh is floral fruity, Daisy Love is woody gourmand, and then Daisy original pop is fruity citrus. So um, I'm really bummed because I wish they would come out with these and have like travel sizes of them, but they don't. They're all over $100. So I'm going to pass. I love Marc Jacobs Daisy fragrances, but this one is not for me. Next, Rare Beauty came out with a body care line. I feel like we're going to see a lot of body care lines this year from like skincare brands and whatnot. Um, this is a really good idea in my opinion, especially for Rare Beauty. The packaging is gorgeous, but they came out with a body and hair fragrance mist for $28, a body lotion for $28, a hand cream for $18, and an aromatherapy blend of, uh, pen for $20. I did smell all of these in store. I'm not the biggest fan of the scents. I really sense that they are really working on making it very aromatherapy, all, uh, leaning towards maybe essential oils and stuff. It's not for me, but I think this is a really good idea and I hope they expand on this in the future to include like body butters and so on. We have another perfume. This is from Valentino. It's the Born in Roma Green Stravaganza. So this is really cute. Um, I don't really like original Born in Roma. I like the coral one and I like the yellow one. This one sounds really nice though. Um, it's a floral amber fragrance with woody notes. Originates in the sumptuous gardens of Rome. It opens the door to an extravagant world, creating the characteristic lapsing Souchong Accord and Radiant Jasmine with a seductive touch of vanilla extract. I love a good vanilla, ambery kind of scent. I think I would like this, so I really, I wanna smell this. YSL came out with another black opium. I don't really like black opium. No, I'm not, I don't like it. Um, they, they said it's the, their black opium over red perfume. So it's very cherry, vanilla, patchouli. It doesn't sound like something for me. I'm not a patchouli person, I've really come to realize. And yeah, it's, this is not for me. Something that's really exciting, this is from Physicians Formula. It's their new 2024 collection. I'm excited for this um, because I feel like we haven't seen anything new from Physicians Formula in a while. But we have a Butter Glow Bronzer and Blush, a Butter Glow Bronzing Serum, a BB Cream, Muru Muru Butter Lips. That's cute. Um, correct, like um, color correctors. We have a contour wand lip glosses, a bronzer. I would really like to try the glosses, the contour ones. I don't know where to get this though. Where can I get this? Like, I'm genuinely curious, like where can I buy this? Because I haven't seen this anywhere, but I do want to try those out. Next, I'm so excited about this. Elf, one of my makeup predictions already came true. Elf is apparently duping the Rare Beauty Liquid Blushes. Um, they're coming out the Camel Liquid Blush. I ordered, I think four shades. I'm so here for it. They're seven bucks. 
I am so excited to try this out. Um, I can't even, I think I got Suave Mauve, Dusty Rose, Pinky Promise, and Very Well. So I didn't get any like the neon shades or anything like that though. Apparently this is also coming out from e.l.f. This is the Pout Clout Lip Plumping Pen. So I feel like this is a dupe for the Tarte Maracucha Juicy Lips and Juicy Plumps. We don't have a price on it. My guess is it'll be like seven bucks or something like that. I want to try this out though. I am, I'm here for this. <laughs> This is more of an announcement, but Soul de Janeiro is coming to Ulta. I think it's about time. <laughs> um, this is a perfect brand to be coming to Ulta. And I, I'm, I'm really excited about this because now I can get like points on stuff. And I don't really like Sephora's reward system, so I'm really excited about this. This is something I'm super pumped about. This is another fragrance from Marc Jacobs Daisy. They're coming out with Daisy Wild. I'm so excited about this. So this is a fruit, fruity floral fragrance capturing the irresistible essence of nature, sparking a sense of discovery. The notes are wildflower, jasmine, vetiver, and banana blossom. I want to smell this. I really want to go to Alton and smell this. I'm here for it. And I love how like the straw, it looks like a flower stem. That's so cute. Next, e.l.f. is coming out again <laughs> with the Camo Hydrating CC Cream, and it's 15 bucks each, has a dewy finish. I don't need this because I don't really want like a super dewy finish or anything like that. I do have more oily skin. This is not something for me, so I'm going to pass. Another fun announcement, Ula Henriksen is coming to Ulta, and I think this is another great idea. Um, Ula has some really good products, and I'm really excited to be starting to earn some more points. And, oh, uh, yeah, I'm excited. I think it's really cool that Ulta is getting all these, like, really big Sephora brands in. I feel like next we need to get Huda, Rare, um, Summer Fridays, Laneige, you know, all those brands. I think we need to get them in there. Another announcement, Charlotte Tilbury is also coming to Ulta. I think this is also really, really smart. Um, Charlotte Tilbury is so popular and you know, with Ulta's reward system, like this is such a good idea and it's gonna make them really competitive. And I hope this like gives Sephora the idea to like change <laughs> their point system because it's not good right now. Natasha Denona is coming out with the My Mini Dream Collection. This is so cute, by the way. Um, it includes a My Dr Mini Dream palette and then a My Mini Dream Glow Blush. I really like this blush. It's 20 bucks. I want this, but I feel like I don't need it. Please de influence me in the comments. Also, another body care line. I'm not surprised here, but this is from Youth to the People, and this is their body care line. So it looks like it's gonna be more of like a luxury body care line. So they have a Superfood and Niacin on my body cleanser for $39, um, a Super Berry Firm and Glow Dream Body Butter for $48 that has niacinamide, hyaluronic acid, and antioxidants, and a 10% AHA and Yerba Mate Smoothing Energy Body Scrub for $42 really cool. I think this is a very smart move for them. Um, I'm going to pass on it though. Next, I'm kind of pumped about this. This is from Anastasia and this is their new lip velvet liquid lipstick. So it has a mousse like texture. It does not have any dryness or cracking. I'm excited to try this out. I don't, I don't see a price on here from Trend Mood, but I am really excited to try that out. Lots of beautiful neutral shades. I'm sure it'll be really good. Next, Sephora Favorites is coming out with a new set. So it's the Perfect Pout Lip Kit. And I really want to get more into like the Sephora Favorites sets to kind of try new products that I maybe normally wouldn't. Um, this is for $34. It comes with a full-size Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution Pillow Talk Medium Lipstick, a Clarins Lip Comfort Oil and Pattaya, so that's a really good one. A Glossier Ultra Lip, which is full size. A full size Rare Beauty Kind Words Matte Lipstick in Humble. And a Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump in Honeysuckle. I definitely want to get this for $34. You're getting a full size Charlotte Tilbury, Glossier, and Rare Beauty. That's a really good deal. And it does say, let's see, has a $90 value. I feel like you can't go wrong. Next, Makeup by Mario is coming out with a new lipstick. $28 each and 18 shades. These are really pretty. I feel like that's kind of expensive for me though. And I have a lot of lip products, so I'm probably going to pass, but like 
these are gorgeous <laughs> like, they're so beautiful they're a satin lipstick Oh, delivers creamy ultra comfortable color perfect for luxurious daily wear i love that next morphe is um came out with their new aura escape collection and i almost bought this but then i kind of de-influenced myself because like don't need this so the palette is 35y and it retails for 28 dollars they have a few lip glosses which is their drip glass glazed Heinshine lip gloss and they have like some really pretty like shimmer duochromes to it for $12 each. And they also have a six piece face and eye brush set for $28. I did de-influence myself. I'm not going to be getting this because I already have these colors in my collection and I don't need it. So we have a new launch from ColourPop. This is their Golden Hour palette. This is really pretty. Um, I feel like I, I like the packaging more than I like the actual colors. It does retail for $24. It'll be available on January 7th at Ulta. I'm not going to get it. I know it's crazy, but I would love ColourPop shadows. I just don't need this. Next, Pacifica is coming out with their Sunny Glow Bronzing Drops. And I think this is so smart of them. So this is basically a dupe for the Drunk Elephant Bronzing Drops, which retail for $38, I think. This retails for $16, and so it says, add a touch of glow with a natural looking finish with skin loving and brightening benefits of vitamin C, glycolic acid, and cockadoo plum. This all-in-one complexion enhancer instantly illuminates dull looking skin. I want to try this. I, I really would like to try this. I don't know. I want to see if I can get it at Ulta. I think this is a really, like, really smart idea. I need to try this. Also, this is really, really, really exciting. Um, the Summer Fri summer Fridays is coming out with their Dream Lip Oil. This is so smart. I want them all. <laughs> but I don't know the price of it. It just says it's coming soon. But this is so smart of them considering their lip butter balms are literally like so popular. And lastly, another ColourPop launch. Uh, but this is the Multi Chrome BFF Creme Gel Liners. So these... They already have the original BFF cream gel liners, but these are the multi crimps and they look gorgeous. So it's a waterproof 18 hour wear um, shift color with every angle of light. It's nine bucks each. Not bad. Again, they'll be available on January 7th on Ulta. I feel like I wouldn't get a lot of use out of these. Um, I just don't use that kind of stuff often. But I think that's really cool. All right, so that is it for today's video. We covered a lot of launches. Let me know what you're getting or not getting in the comments down below. And yeah, I think 2024 will be a great year. Happy New Year. And I'll go ahead and see you in my next one. Bye.